What's been fantastic about this project is that it's grown over the three iterations and for Sydney it seems to be its most ambitious. One of the unique things about working on 13 rooms is the variety of individual interpreters that you're working with. In any one day I can be speaking to professional dancers, individuals who are used to performing naked, painting students, muscle men, actors or bona fide war veterans. What's been overwhelming is the support and assistance we've had around Sydney. To be collaborating with someone like Raphael Bonicella and the Sydney Dance Company, it's an incredible coup. It's a room that's called Revolving Door and it's the work by artist duo Jennifer Alora and Guillermo Calzadilla and um, I will be interpreting their concept through choreography. We have a um, Sydney Dance Company involved in the project, but then also Brent Street, the 60 dancers from the school. And I've been working with them for the last two days, and they're so committed. It's a work that it exists with the visitors. So you imagine this circular room, there is these dancers going around at different speeds, changing directions, but there is also visitors, people that will come to, to see the exhibition that will be presented with this human line that's pushing them around. What will happen? We don't know. It's imperative that I represent the needs and the intentions of the artists accurately and that the individuals that we recruit and cast reflect genuinely the intentions of the artist. John gets so involved, which is so wonderful, and so it's incredibly important for him to invite all the performers and interpreters into the office and have a chat to them about the artist and about the work that they're going to be interpreting. What's so exciting is just to see the ambition of 13 Rooms unfolding in Sydney and you can feel the buzz 